everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I uh, um, really appreciate everybody connecting with us in this way. And, uh, and thanks for your patience this week. It's been a kind of trial and error. So we went from uh, yogis, yoginis to technology <laughs> people in a few days. IT specialists. IT specialists. We've had some help from our friends for sure. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, thanks for being so patient. Well, we worked out all the kinks. Um, yeah, it has been, uh, yeah, it's been a really, really challenging uh, week, obviously, for everybody. And I know each one of us is that is suffering in their own way. That's why we really felt it was so important to continue to connect um, and to continue to breathe and uh, just really start to invite, you know, that state of healing in. So if you've already joined us, we already have quite a few people that have already joined us. I just want to remind you to please make sure your uh, video camera is turned off, otherwise you will be recorded, uh, and your audio too. So. Um, otherwise, uh, we'll hear you. So please uh, make sure those are turned off. Uh, if you don't have your mat out, get your mat out. We'll be starting in just a minute. Um, and just kind of get comfortable. So you don't have to wait to come to your breath until we're here. You can, uh, you know, take these moments. So when we are setting up our classes, uh, we'll turn on our cameras about 15 or 20 minutes prior. We can have some music going. Um, and then that can be your invitation to just kind of come to your breath, come to your mouth. So if you're not there yet, then I invite you to just kind of come over, cross your legs, and, and come to a comfortable seat. Um, if you're just joining us, I want to, again, welcome you. My name is Julie Cook with Empower Yoga. You are here live at our yoga studio. And Michelle, awesome. Uh, Michelle has been with me all week. <laughs> Putting up with each other. And then Roxy, of course. Roxy is joining us uh, because we all need our little extra support pets here this week. Uh, so um, yeah, she loves coming to the studio. She loves coming to the studio. Yes, Roxy's been having a great week. Uh, so she's, she's loving being a yoga star. Uh, I, uh, I just wanted to, again, thank you for coming in today, joining us, and let you know that, you know, my mission has not changed. I opened the studio almost six years ago, uh, and my purpose for opening Empower Yoga and for creating this community truly was uh, to use yoga as a tool to begin the process of alleviating human suffering. And I think we're all, you know, hurting and suffering so much right now that we really need it. So without any other further ado, we're just going to start today's class. And today's class is, is called the Healthy Backs class. If you come into the studio, I, you know, you'll know our Healthy Backs class. I see a lot of our regulars are on the list. Uh, but we're kind of going to mix it up maybe just a little bit. So at home, if something doesn't feel right, please, please, as always, listen to your body, listen to your breath, and um, be mindful. Remember, this is your hour of self-care, so I invite you to start to turn things off, um, both in your mind and around you, just so you have as least distractions for one hour as possible. And then the way we actually start to alleviate the distractions in the mind is to use this tool Tool that is with us all the time, but most of us just don't utilize is called your breath. Uh, and your breath, your yoga breath, is actually going to be this foundation, not only for this next hour, but it's really going to help you to get through the next, uh, you know, the next stretch here uh, until we can start to get back to a more normal state, whatever normal is. I think this is our new normal uh, for the moment. It is. 
Uh, so let's just find our breath and you can cross your legs, you can place your hands, palms down kind of like Michelle does. Uh, you can place your palms up or even to find a deeper connection, bring the first finger and thumb together. You might even place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. This is a nice way to just kind of connect uh, with the sensation of your breath. Um, sliding hands at heart center, bowing inward is a beautiful sign of gratitude as we kind of dedicate this hour to gratitude. So close your eyes, find your space of gratitude, and then just start to notice the pattern and the flow of your breath. I know in, in challenging times, it is a little bit more challenging to think about what you could be grateful for, but we all have so much. This is the time to really focus in on those things. So as you close your eyes these first few moments, and then it invites you to just in your mind begin to focus solely on those things you are grateful for. So you, maybe you woke up in a nice soft bed this morning and that could be your source of gratitude. Uh, perhaps you took a shower and you had warm water. Not everybody has that privilege. Perhaps you have food to drink, eat, and um, maybe a cup of coffee or some juice or water. Um, and again, not everybody has that privilege of clean water. So let's just take this moment, find our breath, and find that state of gratitude. Good. So with your eyes closed, with your breath uh, at the forefront of your focus, we're just going to slowly increase the length of the breath. So your breath is going to grow. It's going to move in through the nose and out of the nose. And I know we've all been through a lot of stress, so maybe your breath is just a little shallow and the mind is busy. But notice now, take note as you focus deeper on the breath, the inhales and the exhales, your mind is going to start to clear. In through the nose and out through the nose. And so I've decided to turn off the music where we just have it really low here today. But if you have some background music that you would like to play as you listen to my voice, uh, feel free to add that in. Good. So now we have the starting point, we have our focus, we have our breath, we have our attention on our body and the sensations and where we're holding. And then we're going to really start to increase the length and depth of the breath. So when we inhale, we're going to inhale really deeply through the nose, just feel the belly and the chest rise. And as you breathe out of the nose, we're going to just squeeze and feel the breath. In through the nose, feel the, the whole heart reach up. And out of the nose, release. Good. Beautiful. And just noticing now as you're starting to incorporate your yoga breath, your diaphragmatic cleansing, healing breath, uh, just notice that maybe the mind feels a little bit softer as well. And so that's the key today's practice is this breath. I'm going to continue to bring you back to it over and over again. And before we move, and we are going to move our body today, so before we actually move in this yoga practice, these, this asana practice, we're going to establish this strong, steady pattern of breathing together. I'm going to count out 10 breaths, and we're going to breathe deeply together. You want to remember that this yoga breath is almost, if you can visualize a pitcher of water, your inhale, you fill up from the belly as if you were filling up a pitcher from the bottom. And then we move through the midsection all the way to the top. And so all the breath starts to flow out. But the exhale is the opposite direction as if you're emptying that pitcher of water. The water clears from the top. And then through the center. And then we squeeze to get every bit of air out of those lungs as if you're kind of dumping over that wave so that pitcher of water. Right, so let's take 10 breaths as we start to create this focus, this healing mind, this clear mind this morning. Right, so we're going to squeeze the breath out. And then we're going to begin with the number one. So as you inhale through the nose, right, you're going to feel this fullness, inhaling, feeling fullness. And then exhale through the nose, really releasing. 
Remember, each breath is about to the count of two or three. We can hold for two breath in. And exhale. Good. Three, bring the breath in. And exhale. Good. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. Release yourself. Six. Exhale. Good. Seven. Exhale. Nine. Exhale. Good. Ten. Exhale. Good. Couple of seated sun salutations. Inhale. Reach your arms above your head. Let your heart rise. Gaze rises. Chin rises. Let in with the exhale, a side bend to the right. So maybe you take your right hand onto the ground, lift your left hand up and even over your ear. But you can also guide your hand with your wrist if you want. Good. Next inhale, we're gonna rise up, fingertips lift, heart reaches. And with the exhale, switching sides. Now moving to the left side of your body, we reach up, reach over, really create space at the right side. Good, with the next inhale, huge breath, reach up, fingertips rise up, and exhale, fold at the way. So seated forward, fold. Now your inhale, you'll lift your chin, lift your heart, and then exhale, melt right in. Good, we're gonna take two to three breaths here. Good, the third eye stays in between the eyebrows, is on the ground, maybe palms up to stretch your receipt, some positive healing energy, or palms down to your feet. Good, now slowly, the next inhale, gently rise up, vertebrae by vertebrae, reach your arms over your head, lift your heart, lift your chin, lift your fingertips, maybe eyes are still closed. And with the exhale, it's a twist to the right. So now your right hand is behind you, left hand onto the right knee, and we're gonna turn from the spine, top of the head to the tailbone. Nice job. Inhale, rise back to center, fingertips lift, heart lifts, good. And then exhale, twist to the left. Right hand is the lever, the tool to open. Good, come on back to center. Take an inhale, open up your heart, lift your ribcage, lift your chin, and exhale, melt it in. Now your hands will come down onto the ground. So you're going to lift up the chin and then find some soft. This time we're going to take just a couple of extra breaths. So maybe, maybe you're holding here for about four to five. Remember, you're at home, so you can do whatever's going to feel good for you. You can make adjustments, modifications, whatever you need. Good. So find the breath. Remember, it's the key. Next inhale, slowly roll up. Let your heart rise. Fingertips up to the sky. Big stretch out. Okay. And then with the next exhale, we're just going to roll the hands and knees. Find your tabletop. Good. So now you're at tabletop. You can see Michelle's hands are under her shoulders and her knees are going to be under her hips. Good. Now find the space and now we're going to start to move with your inhale, the chin lifts and the tailbone lifts. Let your belly drop. Good. Exhale, we're going to squeeze and round up everything in. Inhale, the heart reaches up, fingertips rise, or heart lifts up, not your fingertips. And then exhale, squeeze, turn. Good, take a couple of rounds like that and bring the nose and out through the nose. In through the nose and out through the nose. Really take your time. So we're not just moving our body, we're actually finding a connection. So we start with the connection of the breath and then we start to pull in what we call the asana, the yoga postures. But, and this is the key to finding that deeper connection, to finding that release. We're actually creating a great, greater range of motion by moving side forward. Good. 
Now come on back into neutral. You're at hands and knees. Good. Spine is nice and long. Nose might be down just slightly. And then we're going to find what we call our spinal balance, strengthening the spine, lengthening the spine. So take your right leg behind you. Good. And then just kind of check in. Notice if your right foot is really high or really low. We want the foot flexing. So the point, toe is pointing down. And if you're, it has that sensation like you're holding up the wall behind you. Good. Now notice your chin should not be up. You don't want to be looking at the camera. So you can just listen with your ears and close your eyes. Let the top of your head draw forward and then still breathing. Still breathing. There it is. Take your left arm out in front. Good. So we call the spinal balance. Your thumb is up, your left arm is reaching, and your whole body is extending. Now, right away, you're probably going to start to shake a little bit. Uh, you might even start to hold your breath. Just notice. And if you do hold the breath and put the hand down and the knee down, remember, really take care of yourself today. Be kind to yourself. This is just an hour of self care. Good. Now, we're going to start to crunch in. We're going to take five crunches. So take your left elbow over toward the right knee and really round. Take that exhale, tuck in. Good, with the inhale, <laughs> excuse me, look at this. Good, so it's in through the nose, we get long, and out through the nose, we tuck in. Good, in through the nose, and out through the nose, good job. Good. I see Roxy is working really hard here. <laughs> if you're laying on your back, that's okay too. Good, come on back into neutral hands and knees. And then we're going to switch sides. Good. So you'll take that left side behind you. Reach. Go ahead and let your head move forward. Take a few breaths. Just stretch it out. Find your right. <coughs> Excuse me. And then slowly extend your right arm. Let your right arm is reaching. Your thumb is up. And go a little longer with your spine. Good. Nose is down. Head is forward. And then when you're ready, you're going to start to crunch in. Take your exhale to squeeze. Go with your belly, tuck your chin. Inhale, lengthen, big stretch out. Good, and you'll take five rounds. So take a few more, squeeze. You're moving, connecting, breathing together. In through the nose and out through the nose. Beautiful. Good. One more round like that. Take an extension and squeeze. Now, after this round, just come on back to hands and knees, right table top. And instead of cat cows, we're just going to create some C shaped curves to stretch the spine in a different way. Yeah, so you'll take your nose over the right shoulder and then the left shoulder, just finding that sense of movement. And again, in our practice, we don't just move the body, we actually connect the body with the breath. Because we want to find this connection. You're inhaling in one direction, but, and then you exhale in the opposite direction. So it's in through the nose and out through the nose. Good. So you can exaggerate a little bit more. Each movement gets bigger. Good. Really exaggerate a little bit. It's nice. Good. In through the nose and out through the nose. Good. And then come on back into center. Neutral spine. We're going to find what we call extended side angle on hands and knees today. So Michelle's going to keep her right hand, her right knee and her right foot right where it is. But she's going to step her left foot back and pivot and turn it. So the left foot is pivoting and really rooting into the ground, kind of evening up, stacking the hips. Good. Now she's going to stack her shoulders and reach her left arm up toward the ceiling. Beautiful. Hands are stacked and hips are stacked. Now with all this length, we want to really stretch out. You're going to take this big inhale. And when you exhale, you're going to get more length as you take the arm overhead. Your left arm is reaching over your head, but your left foot is firmly planted on the ground. So you're just stretching and strengthening the left side of your body. Good. Notice if this causes you to hold your breath. If you're holding your breath, be mindful but to make your adjustment and come back to the breathing. It is the foundation. Everything else is just extra. Good. Two more breaths. See if you can pull a little bit more. Good. Feel that energy off your fingertips as you push and root. Good, unwind, come back to hands and knees. We're at tabletop. We're just gonna switch sides. Now, Michelle is gonna keep her left knee and her left foot and left hand right where it is. Stack the hips, stack your shoulders, reach your right arm up toward the ceiling and then over your ear. Good, 
good. So as you reach overhead, you're gonna lengthen. And then remember if your eyes are closed, good, find some softness. We don't wanna tense up the jaw, we wanna feel the breath. If eyes are open, see if you can close your eyes. But now you know, noticing her nose is kind of down, and your nose might be down toward the mat, or it might be just gently lifted up toward the sky. Good, you choose what feels right on your neck, a stretch that feels right for you. Good job. Good, and then we'll come back to hands and knees, right tabletop. And we're just gonna shift right into child's pose as we gently begin to open up the hips. Now in child's pose, the big toes, kiss, her knees are apart, and her heart is just a melt through the legs. Good. Allowing third eye again to come down to the ground, arms are extending. And the fingertips are reaching. Good. Palms might be up as you invite some energy in or palms are down. Now let's take a cleansing breath right here. Huge big breath comes in through the nose. Fill it up. Just adjust your mind. Good. Let's fill up and let it go. Good. Let's try it again. The breath comes in and exhale. Good. Now take about five more breaths right here as you just continue to sink into your heels. If this hurts your knees, good, then you want to maybe put a blanket underneath your knees or if your hips are really tight, you might put a blanket underneath your seat or on your heels if your hips don't touch your heels. Uh, so just take a moment and just kind of notice where you are, right where you are today. I'm going to take a few more breaths this job. In through the nose and out through the nose. And with all that movement, if your breath again has gotten choppy, this is the time to kind of even out the pattern of the breath and to invite that slow, steady pattern back. Good. Good. Now slowly, she's going to make her way back to tabletop, hands and knees. Good. Take a moment and just roll the toes under. So from tabletop, we're going to come to downward facing dog. It's actually one of my favorite postures. Uh, it, it's that really great stretch through the back side of the body. So hips are up, and you should have a V shape with your body. Good. So your hips are high, hands about shoulder width distance apart, and feet about hip distance apart. Good. Now Michelle's kind of moving around a little bit. First time getting here, it really feels good to, to kind of shake your head out. Notice if your head is holding any tension. Go ahead and lift up and come down on your heels and your toes if you want. But wherever you are, just notice the sensations that you're feeling if your wrists are kind of pain in them. You can walk hands just a little bit closer uh, and then stretch your fingertips out wider so you feel this firm foundation. Good. Let your head hang heavy, really soft through your head, and your neck, and take about two more breaths. Remember, sometimes we, the, when we start to stand or get away from the earth, the breath becomes choppy, so let your breath just drop in and out. And when you're ready, you're going to take your feet to meet the hands. We're going to meet up at the top of the mat in a standing forward fold. And in all of our Healthy Backs class, we always incorporate what we call our spinal warm-up flow. Good. So once you find your way to the top of the mat, just lift your chin a little bit to get space and then soften it down. Now the key to these standing forward folds is to remember not to put strain on your low back. So bend your knees if your hands are firmly rooted the way Michelle's are, or you can take block or books or whatever you have around your house. Uh, you can even put your hands on a couch if you're comfortable, whatever you need to find the support you need. But now notice your head. If your head has a lot of tension and it's still, you can shake your head out, just encouraging some length for your spine. Good. And then notice your breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Good. The weight of your body slightly sh shifts in the direction of the toes. So it's this long, steady, nice job. Good. Then we're just going to move the spine. We're going to move into what I call a sun salutation, a modified sun salutation, or a spinal warm-up flow, uh, just to really start to move the spine in all six directions. 
So we're gonna release tension, we're gonna release stress in the body and just start to find some length through the hamstrings, the glutes, the back. Good. So these forward folds are really awesome for all that. This is also an inversion. So we're feeding our brain all that blood flow, oxygen, um, just to re-energize, to clear the mind. Good. Good. So we'll begin with a little twist here. The left knee bends, the left hand stays rooted. And with the inhale, the right arm waves up high. Now reach your right arm and then reach it a little bit higher. So there's always a starting point and then we want to move deeper. So we really like the out here. Good. Now with the exhale, take your right hand down. And the next inhale is going to be spinning, opening to the left. Good. So this time, your right knee is bending, the left arm is lifting, and your heart rises. Lift your chin, lift your heart, lift your nose, and move. Good. Left hand comes down and find your roots and gently roll up all the way up to standing. So you're going to really root down, but you're going to rise. And once you rise, you're going to reach as high as you can. Just feel your rib cage lift, feel your heart lift. Good. And even your chin. So it's a slight back. Good. Now, guiding your, your left hand, we're going to use the right hand, right hand lifts up toward the ceiling. So we want all this length and then a slow side bend to the right. Good. So you're just finding a release and openness in the left side of the body. Good. Nose might be down, maybe it's up, wherever you want. Notice how it feels. Inhale, reach, let the arms rise. Good. And then switch sides. The left hand reaches for right wrist, is up and is over. Find your extension and breathe. Good, as in through the nose and out through the nose. Nice. Inhale, rise up, fingertips lift up. Good, and then we're going to clasp the hands behind the back. So intertwine your fingers and then pull the shoulder blades together, lift your chin, and then tuck your chin just to feel that stretch. And maybe you even take your arms a little bit further away from. Now get some length. We're going to keep the spine open up and then slowly fold in. Now, if this is too much and you need more support, just take your hands onto the ground. A forward fold with the arms bound as we start to squeeze out the tension in the shoulders. Good. Beautiful. Release your bind. Place your hands back onto the ground, your block or your mat, whatever you have, lift the chin and then melt in. Good. Let's take about five breaths. Again, the head is releasing, maybe kind of rocking a little bit side to side, and you're shifting your weight toward your toes. If the toes are light, breath is full and complete in and out your nose. Beautiful. And just one more round. We're gonna gently spin to the right. And then you inhale, twist to the right, bend your left knee, lift your right arm, open up your heart, lift your chin. Good job, I still Listen rather than see. Exhale, take your right hand down and switch sides, twisting open to the left. Your right knee bends, your left arm reaches, your heart is open and good. Exhale, left hand down and gently with your hands on hips or thighs, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, mindful that your head comes up last and your knees have a slight bend. Once you're neutral, take your arms as high high as you can, up toward the ceiling, up toward the sky, big stretch high. Good, and this time our side bend is gonna be a little different. We're gonna slide the right hand down the right thigh, and the left arm extends upward and over. Just feel that one. Again, and out of the nose. Good, take your inhale, swim it up, and let your heart rise up, and then switching sides. Now it's the right arm that is extending up and extending over. Feel your length, feel your breath, it's in and out. Inhale, come on back to center, lift up, and then just slide your hands back to that heart center. Good, this is our sign of gratitude as we take a moment to gently dive in, standing tall, feeling your breath. Good, coming back to that state of gratitude that we worked on creating in the beginning of class. Good, so if your breath got choppy, when you were moving, come back to that steady breath. Remember, when we steady the breath, we steady the mind. So breath control actually equals mind control. See if you can really work on that. Create a steady breath. Just about to the count of three. In through the nose. Good. Inhale through the nose. Beautiful. Good. 
good. Now we're going to work on a, a little bit of strength here and balance. We're going to find what we call Utkatasana or chair pose. And I know this is Michelle's favorite posture. She always loves me for doing this. Her big toes come together, the heels are apart, and then bending the knees. The pelvis is tucked under and the arms extend up. If this is too much and it starts to create agitation in the shoulders, hands can come to heart center as a modification. Just be sure that you're not folding forward and putting strain on your lower back. Good. We're going to add a little twist. So slowly take hands into the center of the heart. Good. And then you're going to twist. You're going to slowly open to the right. Good. You're going to take your gaze, your nose back, arms extend out wide. Good. Come on back to center. Reach up. Fingertips rise up. And then we switch sides. This is spin a twist. Oh, open to the left. Take your nose. Inhale, come on back to center, open up the heart. Good, and exhale, samastiti, just standing mountain pose. Good, beautiful. Good, good, we're gonna work again into a little bit of balance. We're gonna find tree pose. So you might need to open your eyes for this. Uh, you're gonna first kind of root into your feet. You're gonna find a gentle drizzly, something in front of you. And we're gonna start on the left side. So you're gonna put the weight of your body into the left. We start by just coming on to the right toe. So you can feel the shift of the body weight. Good. Now you might stay right here. Right heel is right into the inner left heel. Good. Or if you're still breathing, if you still feel like you can move a little bit deeper, your foot can kind of slide up into the shin. Good. And if you want more, you can slide your way up into the inner thigh or simply stay right where you are. But the best way to stay focused but it is by incorporating your deep breath by finding your gaze deep. Now your hands could stay on your hips for greater support or at the heart center, or you can even create your, your limbs in your tree by reaching your arms up over my head. Good. Good. Releasing right here, come on down and shake it out. Good. So we're going to try the other side. I'm just going to find the root right here into your right foot. Sliding with that weight into the right foot and just feel the four corners of your right foot. Good, you're on the toe of your left foot. And now, now you might stay there or you might engage a little bit deeper by taking your foot into the thigh, into the shin. But if you want more, again, your hands could come overhead. Maybe they stay at your heart center or on your hips, you choose. Take about three more breaths. Good. You're going to notice Michelle's got a nice, strong drizzy, although you shouldn't be looking at her. Good. You want to find your own drizzy. Good. Beautiful release here. Come on down. Good. Shake it out. And then just swing your arms way up over. Nice. Exhale, fold up the waist. Place your hands down onto the mat or your block again. Lift your chin. Good. And melt in. But now in your forward fold, just kind of notice what's going on with your head. So the top of your head should actually be moving in the direction of the earth. Uh, so you can kind of shake your head out back and forth, yes and no. And oftentimes we hold so much tension in the head and the neck and the jaw that we don't even realize how much we're holding here. Beautiful. So you've got all this nice length through your spine, the top of your head melting down. Breath is steady. But just three more breaths. So this is actually calming your nervous system and stimulating the mind as well. Just inviting that healing energy back. Good. Now she's going to slowly step back and find your way back to tabletop any way that's comfortable for you. Tabletop pose. Good. And from tabletop, we're going to find our seat. So just swing your legs in one direction or the other. Come on down onto your seat. Good. And we're going to breathe, begin in a posture that's kind of in between a forward fold and butterfly pose. And I call this tortoise pose. So bring the bottoms of your feet together, but you're going to notice Michelle isn't scooching up really close to her feet. Um, her feet are out further toward the top of her mat. Good. And then you'll take the right hand and you're just going to scoop it underneath the right ankle. And the left hand underneath the left ankle. Good. Now you're going to come out of your shell and tortoise, lift up your chin, and then exhale, slowly soften and melt in. Third eye, that space in between the eyebrows there is starting to move toward the feet or the earth. 
Doesn't matter how far down you go, just find your breath. Good. So you're relaxing your jaw and it tends to up and you're just allowing now your knees to become heavier and relaxed. And for the nose and out through your nose. Good. We're going to hold this opening asana, this opening posture for about five breaths. And if you want more, of course, you're at home, take as many as you need. And again, that reminder, if there's something uh, that I call out, a suggestion that I give and it just doesn't quite serve you, please feel free to make your modifications, your adjustments. And this is your body, your practice. It's your time of self-care. Good. Beautiful. Good. And then as you begin to roll back up, Good. We're just going to come up to a seat and extend the legs. We're going to set up a little bit of a counter pose here, a back bend to counter the forward fold. So hands will come behind your hips. So the fingertips are forward. Good. You're going to pop up your chest and just drop your, your head back. Good. You're going to lift up your heart, just finding a little bit of a back bend drop. So your feet, your hands actually need to be a, a little bit further back than they feel like they should go. Uh, so your fingertips are towards your body. Good. Throat is opening. Heart is popping up. Good. Now slowly, slowly come back up. Sit up nice and tall. Good. Find your tall seat. It's beautiful. And then next inhale, get even more length in your spine. And when you exhale, fold at the waist. This time it's a seated forward fold with straight legs. Grabbing onto the feet or maybe your toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. Let your heart begin to soften over the thighs. And feel your head, the top of your head actually move forward. We're going to take at least five breaths here. So every inhale is going to give you a little bit more length. Good. And the exhales, we melt softly. Just in through the nose and out through the nose. Beautiful. You can be grabbing anything that feels comfortable for you. So you might have a foot bend like Michelle. You might have your knees bent. You might be holding onto thighs or shins or knees. It really doesn't matter. It's not necessary to hold the feet. It's only a suggestion, whatever is comfortable for you. A lot of new people, what I notice when people are starting with yoga is they want to really pull and force. They begin to bounce right here. But so it's important to let your heart melt and not force anything. Good. So we set up a basic shape of a pose. It's called the asana. And then we really commit to the breath, the pranayama. And this will soften you in. This will open you up. Good. Good. With your next inhale, you're going to slowly peel your spine back up. And again, we're going to come into another counter pose. You can move into that last back bend if you want, or you can try this reverse table pose by taking hands about a foot or so behind you, rooting your feet down, and then with the inhale, slowly lifting up your hips. Now, with your hips lifting, it's just going to open up your throat. You're going to let your head drop back. Beautiful. Take a couple more breaths. Fingertips are facing your toes, and you're creating that table shape. Good. Belly's flat, head is back. Steady breath. Good. Now slowly bring your seat down and we're going to move into the hips a little bit more with this seat, another seated forward fold, but this one is going to be butterfly pose. Good. So you're going to actually take your feet and bring them close to your body. Good. You'll grasp your feet or maybe your ankles and then see if you can switch up really close. You want to get as close to your your body to your feet as possible. Your knees are going to be out wide. Good. You can grab onto feet and just open them up or just hold the feet. Good. Now you want to get some length first. So inhale, open your heart. And with the exhale, you're going to slowly with your long spine, you're going to fold in. You can start to walk your hands out or continue to hold your feet, whatever feels best. Good. Now once you come to this forward fold, you'll lift your chin one last time. Get out a little bit more. And then exhale, fold into that space. Good. So now your head is, is melting down. Your spine is rounding. Good. And your third eye is just moving in the direction of the ground. Feel your breath. Invite it in. It's a steady breath. In through the nose. 
and out through the nose. You can take as many breaths as you need here. Remember, if anything causes pain, pain in your knees or your low back, right? or maybe your hips, right? then you want to move out of the pose. But if you feel sensation, what you want to do is you want to move into the breath. Right? So sensation is good, pain is bad. Right? So we want to move to sensation, a place of resistance. And then we take a couple more breaths. We're just inviting the body to open up and to release. In and out of the nose. Nice. Good. Good. And then slowly start to roll back up. And extend your legs out in front of you. As so you'll use your hands to gather the knees together, extend your legs straight, and then bring your thighs together. Good. You're going to activate your thighs and flatten your feet. Now your toes are pointing up toward the ceiling, and your feet are really flat. Good. You can see she's already getting ready for stack pose. So taking your hands directly underneath your shoulders, push your palms down, pull the shoulders back, and then tuck. Chin. Right, stack pose. We call this not a basana. Stack pose. Just a couple of breaths and stack pose. You can see that her thighs are so active that her heels are just slightly coming up off the earth. Her hands are strong, feet are strong, and flex. Good. And then gently start to lift up your head as you prepare for what we call Mariachi Asana, letter C. Just a fancy name for a seated spinal twist. Beginning on the right side, bend your right knee and then pull it in really close, just like Michelle did. Her right foot is rooted down and then take your right hand behind your right hip. Good. Still sitting tall, so it's easy to start to slouch here. Going back to those bad habit patterns, long spine. Good. You're going to hook your left elbow outside the right knee. And now she's using it as this little tool, this lever to push away. Good. Now with inhales, get long. There it is. And then exhale a little bit deeper. So we're just bringing out the internal organs. We're squeezing the toxins out. Good. And then notice, remember, what the most important element of the practice is your breath. So you're breathing deeply into the spine. But we're decompressing, opening through the nose and out. Go ahead and take two more. Every exhale, push just a little further away with your elbow. Nice. Good. And then begin to slowly unwind. Your nose will come forward. Your right leg will stretch out straight. And we're just going to simply switch sides. Now it's the left knee that is going to bend. First, pull, try to give yourself a little hug. So you can wrap your arms around that knee. Go ahead and pull the shoulders back. So just as you can lengthen, always lengthen first. Good, and then take your left hand behind you. This is going to help to hold you up so it's way behind your hip, actually. Good, and still keeping tall with your spine, just take your right elbow and just take it onto the outside of your left knee. Good, as you push away, your inhale is going to lengthen your spine, and the exhale, we're going to twist in. Good. Eyes are still closed, so if you've begun to look at the camera, or if you get lost, it's okay to look at the camera, but I do highly suggest that you just use your breath, good, using your ears. That really does help to keep some of the distractions out. Good. So the right elbow is pushing away, the nose is turning back, and the breath is steady in and out of the mouth. Good. Your right leg is still active, footprint is strong, breath in and out. Good, two more, just a little lever here, not forcing, just guiding. Good. Now with the inhale, turn your nose forward and extend your left leg out in front of you. Place your hands to the center of your heart or use your hands to guide you onto your back. You're just going to slowly roll onto your back. And once you're on your back, you're just going to give yourself some love. Really great work today. Pull the knees into your chest. Good. You'll rock it back and forth and pulling it in. And massage. Massage back and forth. 
you can make some circular movements, you can move back and forth. Just really give your body what it needs here. Just find that release. What we're doing after those forward folds is now we're pushing the low back into the earth, even lifting up the nose toward the knees like Michelle is. Good to find that release. Good. We're gonna to continue to feel the release in the spine by moving into what we call windshield wipers. Just take your feet down onto the ground. Good. Uh, taking the feet onto the ground. Good. Now your knees are up, feet are down. Good. And then we're just gonna slowly start to connect with the breath. Good. So when you exhale, the knees will fall to the right. And when you inhale, the knees will come up. Good. The exhale, we gently move to the left. And the inhale, they rise up. Let's see, again, everything we're doing here is we're connecting with breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And generally, just a rule of thumb in our yoga practice, the inhales are kind of those, those opening postures. We're opening, we're creating space. The exhales are contracting and squeezing, lowering the knee into the stomach. Good, now come on back into center. Again, draw your knees into your chest, just a nice squeeze over the knees. And we'll take the feet back down to the ground, and we're gonna prepare for our bridge pose. Be really mindful with your bridge pose. You don't wanna force anything. We're just strengthening those supported muscles in the spine, feeling and activating the backside body, especially after all those forward folds. It just helps to give a little bit of balance to the body. Now your feet are down on the ground, her hands are down on to the ground next to hips. And with the inhale, just slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Now you can stay like this with your hands in the ground, with your feet rooting into the ground, just like Michelle is. Or you can clasp your hands and kind of rock your shoulder blades underneath you, puffing up your heart, lifting up your hips. Good, but just if you do that, be so mindful that weight of your body stays on the shoulders and not on the body. Good, we'll take two more breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Good. And then find your release, unbind and roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Good. Pull your knees back into your chest and just get that release. So a little massage, side to side. We're going to set up some abdominal crunches. So instead of like going into them right away, I want you to move into them very mindfully. Take your feet down onto the ground in front of your hips with your knees up. Then, next step is to take your hands either behind your ears or behind your neck for support. Now, before moving any further, we need to isolate the abdominal muscles. So you're gonna bring some tone to the low belly, the space in between the belly button and pelvic floor, a little bit of tone. Good. Now, where you are right here on the ground, take a big inhale. And when you exhale, we're gonna lift the right shoulder and the left knee and just gonna tap through the center, squeeze. Good, now the inhale, slowly come back down. And then the exhale, twist opposite direction. Good. Inhale, come back down. Exhale to twist. Good. Inhale, our opening motions. And exhale, we twist. Nice job. Good. Take a couple of those at your own pace. And then just notice where you are. Where are you? Not physically, but where are you? Good. Emotionally, spiritually, in your mind. Where's your but it has your mind drifted off already. And now I invite you to bring it back. Remember, we bring back the mind by bringing back the focused, steady, controlled breath. So you should still be breathing about to the count of three. That's inhale, two, three. And exhale, two. Three. Remember the inhales are opening motion, so we're coming down. And the exhales are contracting motions, we're squeezing. 
just a couple more. Find your rhythm, find your pace, find your breath. Good. And then come on back into neutral when you're right here. And give yourself another squeeze. We always we want to find that little release. She's wrapping her arms around her knees. And we're actually kind of pushing the low back and sitting to the earth with a gentle massage. Good. Maybe even pulling up nose to knees again around your back. Give your body what it needs. Good. And you'll take your head down. We're going to set up a spinal twist. So you can just kind of slowly take your knees over to the right. Let the knees stack. Let the hips stack. And extend your arms out to a way that's comfortable for you. And then just turn your nose in the other direction of the knees. So I'm going to try my music. And you guys can let me know if it comes in a little funky. We're still working out our kinks. So now her eyes are closed. I invite you just to become a little bit softer. As we start to turn down the music, I invite you to continue to turn down the busyness of mind. Well, your breathing is back to its more normal, natural state. Invited the breath back to the more normal, natural state. We're still bringing the awareness and the attention to the breath. As you're bringing your awareness to the sound and sensation of the breath. But and the more we start to pull in, the calmer and clearer the mind becomes. Take about five more breaths. Just going to prepare to switch sides. Your knees will start to come towards center. You might give yourself a squeeze in between the sides, or maybe you just let them fall to the left. But setting up your spinal twist, knees to the left, and the nose to the right. And then your eyes are soft. Take five more breaths. We're going to soften into that space. And then, after. 
back to this last exhale. Just slowly inhale, bring your knees back to center. You can wrap your arms back around your shins or your knees, releasing, creating a little ball with your spine. We're just going to prepare for our final rest. So once you release your spine, then you can start to work to extend your legs. So if you want to prepare, Michelle's putting on a jacket, if you feel a little chilly, but whatever you need here. But when you're ready, when you have your blanket or your jacket on, if you need it, then you'll just extend your legs out in front of you, letting them come about hip distance apart. Good, your arms will fall anywhere that's comfortable. Maybe they're next to your sides, maybe out more. Let the palms come up. And then with your eyes closed, begin to scan your entire body from the top of your head, you're gonna just kind of take this scan and scan your way all the way down your spine. Good, through the legs and releasing even the feet. Your breathing has moved back to a normal, natural state. And your eyes are closed. And there's nothing left to do here, but to start to open up and breathe all the beauty of what you created today. This moment of self-care. We call this space Shavasana. Take rest.